going into this season, are, are you scripting plays or, or how do you go about the, the start of, uh, you know, your play calling in the game? Uh, we go in with a plan. I, I you know, try not to get into specifics here, but uh, scheme and, and how we operate. But there, there's a lot of things planned out ahead of time and, and situations that you think about going to the week. And everybody's different how they want to arrange their uh, call sheet. And for for your calls, like, do you have, okay, these are my Corey Davis calls. These are my A.J. Brown calls, my John Lou calls. Do you have, like, it sectionalized like that or, or – is it just kind of where the reads take, uh, Ryan? Again, I, I just not going to get into specifics on scheme here, but uh, you know we have a plan and very con- conscious of you know if we want to get to a certain guy or not. Okay, thank you, mm-hmm. uh, Paul. Wondering, Art, if um, you're, you're, how conscious you are of a. Uh, players' previous success. Derek's obviously been very good against the Jaguars in the past. The Jaguars obviously know that. Um, do you go into it thinking, uh, okay, chess match in terms of getting Derek going again? Uh, do you kind of count on, hey, I can get Derek going in this game? What, what, you, what you're thinking based on previous success with something like that? Well, you know, every game you know, plays out differently. And, you know, schematically there are certain things where tr- we'll try to attack – um, obviously, we get the run game going, and it, against anybody, it, it, it certainly helps us and what we're trying to do. Um, but for sure, I mean, we just we just we need to be better, at all, obviously, all around in the run game. Uh, Terry. Art, you guys are 14-0 and 0 when Derek runs for 100 yards or more in a game, including what happened Monday night. Is that kind of validation of the identity of the offense, or is that a stat that you put a lot of stock in? Well, I think it certainly it, it helps when, when you're running the ball uh, effectively. You know, so he, he gets over 100 yards. I've seen the stat. But really, overall, we've we got to make sure – Usually in the game, games and balance, or, or you're ahead when you have that many rushes in a game. So it kind of goes hand in hand. If we're having success in the run game, and, and obviously, I know it's the, the line between you know, whatever 99 and 101, whatever that may be. But usually it means that you're either ahead or you're in the game, and you're having an opportunity to run the ball that many times. And then, kind of on that, along those lines. Derek had 31 carries. Is that a little more than you'd like for one guy to have uh, in a game, or are you good with that? It was the way the game went. You know, it's um, – we obviously know in the situation, he, you know, he carried the load the other night. And we, what it was, it was still – it was a close game all the way to the end. It was kind of like a heavyweight fight going back and forth. And so we were able to get some carries late, and, and they were big carries for us. Uh, Jim? Arthur, what did you see from Corey, and did they do some things throughout the game to try to uh, take A.J. out of it a little bit? Well, it, you know, how the coverage was dictating some looks there. Um, and so it just, you know, Ryan made the right reads, and, and Corey got going early, and it, and it helped open some things up. When did you know he was going to be available, and how tough is it for you in circumstances? I know that's going to happen throughout the season where you're really not going to know until, you know, sometimes 90 minutes for a kickoff. What, how, do you, how does your fallback plan work in that scenario? Sure. Uh, you got, you got to have – you got to prepare for all those situations. I mean, things are going to happen. Guys are going to be down. It happens – it can happen the first play of the game. Obviously, you know, I just wait till Raves tells me. But obviously, you've got a backup plan, and we, we were ready if he didn't play. So, I try not to worry about that stuff. I just plan accordingly. You know, you get caught up, and it can – you know, it can go south on you in a hurry if that's – you base your entire plan off that and, and play one, something happens. Like you've got to be ready to adapt. That's the, that's the biggest challenge week to week, and you got to prepare for that beforehand. Teresa? Arthur, what is it about this offense that when you get into a two-minute uh, situation that the, the, you've been able to produce, and you know, now with Ryan you've got four comeback victories, uh, game-winning drives. What is going on that, that suddenly seems to click in those situations for you guys? A lot of it is preparation, and there's a, there's a lot of trust among those players. We try to work through those situations. Their guys have confidence in each other. 
and it's a it's a really it's a team effort all the way across the board and uh you feel it, it there's there's a calmness about them and you know that last drive it was refreshing to see the ball was spread around and we were able to operate and there was no panic uh gentry yeah hey arthur um you know, you ran so many plays the other night, but not too many shots downfield. Were you were you happy, you know, that you were able to to stay on the field as long as you were, or would you like to have made it a little easier on yourself? Well, again, you know, you do. I mean, that's the thing is you look in a game, and, and a lot of times the you know, defense has a say in some things. So we, we, we try to be aggressive. Um, that doesn't change. But, again, you get, you know, the defense does have a say sometimes, and, you know, you, you look to have answers, you know. You, you, you don't want to sit there and throw in the, the bad looks or yeah, maybe roll it over the top or something. And, you, you know, you could be reckless and say, hey, we're just going to throw a go into that and be stubborn. Or you can play the game and they're going to make you earn it. That's a really solid defense and a, and a good scheme. And they're, they got some smart players over there. So, like I said, it felt like a heavyweight fight, 12-rounder. You know, they, they did a great job tackling. And a lot of times explosive happen on underneath stuff and guys break tackles. That wasn't the case the other night. And – uh We'll do whatever we have to do to go win that game. Uh, David Bocor. Arthur, you didn't score in the third quarter the other night, but you ran all sorts of plays, had the ball a ton. How important was was that in terms of setting up what happened in the fourth quarter based, you know, either on your understanding of what the Broncos were doing at that point or fatigue or, or whatever? Well, obviously every drive, you know, and other than being in a four-minute – uh, situation there you're trying to score touchdowns and and so we were, we were able to stay on the field we would have liked to have come away with more touchdowns I mean that's the that's the objective uh, but as far it went you got to play the situation at hand what the score was it gave us a chance at the end it didn't take us out of anything and we you gotta get credit to, to our guys like I said I mean they just kept battling and battling and there's a strong belief in there and we were able to pull it out down the stretch. Uh, Corey? Hey, Art, when you look at this Jags defense without Ramsey, without Ngakwe, without Calais Campbell, uh, I, I would imagine it's like uh, preparing for an entirely new unit this year. And what's it like? Well, you know, schematically, they've always played fast. And they, 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 Todd Wash has been there for a while. They, they got different players. They got some really good young players. It's a physical defense. And they're going to pin their ears back. And they'll, they'll come at us. And, they'll, and we expect them to come out and, and – Make it a make it tough on us. So we're ready for the challenge. It, it, certainly, it's different. There's different bodies out there, but that's a, it's a really good scheme and it's a fast physical defense. Uh, Luke, Arthur, Mike talked yesterday about how when it comes to a player becoming consistent on the field, a lot of times it's their off the field routine that leads to that. Particularly with Corey. What have you seen from him over the last four years in terms of him building a routine to lead to consistency on the field? Well, everybody's different in this situation. I mean, it, you know, you go back and look at his rookie year, you know, he missed a lot of time. Uh, he changed systems. I mean, there's multiple factors. I mean, these aren't excuses and you're not trying to rationalize, but, you know, everybody's different and things that come along. And, I, you know, you just – sometimes it, for guys it clicks at different times and, and – there are circumstances that are out of their control, and certainly the more reps he can get and the, the better he feels, the more it helps us. Um, but hopefully there's some familiarity and we can build off what we did last week. And how, how can injuries derail that process when they unfortunately happen? Yeah, well, a lot of things. If it's time missed, I mean, there's, to me there's no more important there's, – there's no more – it's so valuable for guys to get reps. You know, you can, you can walk through things and you can talk through them on the board or guys can draw, you know, draw them out. And at the end of the day, the act of going out there and doing it over and over again, in my opinion, certainly helps development. Uh, last one, Corey. Yeah, Coach, I also wanted to ask you about Hump. I think he had seven targets in that game and he had some quick hitters on third down to move the chains. Is that more of the role that you envisioned for him, you know, last year and, and now moving forward? Well, he's certainly, you know, a, our slot in, a, in 11 personnel, and uh, that, that's one of his strong suits. But, but he, he's got a lot of – there's a lot of things he can do for us. You know, it just depends on how the game's going and what personnel's in there. 
But, uh, you know, his role continued to, to grow, and, and Adam does a nice job when called upon.